Looks like things are about to get real. Remember what I told you, when the SEC finishes with the hedge funds, it will go after broker dealers and eventually after the exchanges. Well, guess what? New York Stock Exchange, Nasdaq, volume discounts for brokers threatened by the SEC's proposal. Essentially, broker dealers and the hedge funds will be the biggest losers over here. The setup can result in larger firms offering customers better transactional prices than the smaller ones, meaning that essentially the big boys will get bigger, but they will be enforced by the SEC's new proposal and they have to follow up. It's not like before, they can actually compete and the smaller ones can play the game differently. The New York Stock Exchange and Nasdaq will no longer be able to offer any kind of special discount or rewards to Wall Street brokerages for routing large amount of trade orders to them under the new plan from the SEC. And this particular resolution from the Gary Gensler and SEC agenda simply will change the game. This tiered up setup can result in larger trading firms offering customers better transactional prices than the small ones. SEC Chair Gary Gensler said during the meeting that can drive a smaller and mid-sized brokers to route their orders through larger ones, according to him. Well, I'm not sure that this is actually a good thing, guys. When I have a second thoughts on this, you might be thinking if the hedge funds, you know, have been dealing with the big exchanges straight up, right? Well, now actually they might acquire this trading flow and getting straight from the exchanges. But there's also a bullish scenario in which if we presume that the short sellers and the hedge funds have been using smaller brokers and have been buying out the, the order flow from them, they will have a hard time buying the same exact or amount of order flow from the big exchanges. So now, if they cannot route the orders through the small brokers and they have to route the orders to the lead markets, then the pricing will change dramatically and they don't have to provide the kickbacks simply because they will cut the middleman. Because if before you want to buy a stock and you have to place the order through the broker and broker has to place the order to the exchange and if you're lucky enough to get your order hit the exchange and get back, you know, the settlement period when you exchange money and you get the shares, right? This simply will reduce timing. Potentially, this is how they're going to be going to zero settlement day. And then, potentially, this is how they're going to be going after reducing the off exchange volume, which might be the most bullish case over here. The only concern I have is that it looks like that the big boys on Wall Street would get bigger and the small most likely will lose at this point. A handful of largest brokers are then able to collect fee for the services and use the volume to qualify for even better tiers for themselves and other customers. Meaning now if, if for example, big exchange used to get 100,000 orders a day and you know all the other ones were getting another 100,000 like divided by 20,000 or, or 10,000 now the big player big exchange will get the whole 200,000 a day they will bring more volume they most likely gonna offer better pricing because the spreads will be the same it's not like try to compare the spreads between five different brokers or five different exchanges especially considering that they might actually choose to execute through the lead markets which might be the cheaper option. It's not for sure. Wholesalers will be big losers in my opinion. Again, if this is implemented, this is going to be the, the game changer, guys. We haven't seen anything that targets actually exchanges and limits the potential routing of the orders. This is a cutting the Wall Street system one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> I mean, they try to cut the particular increments pricing. They try to cut the amount of dark pool trades. They try to regulate the treasury market with the futures contracts remember the basis trade this is not over yet and then they try simply to reduce the amount of of exchange trading as well so this might actually be something that is coming as a big surprise i don't see how the exchanges or the small broker dealers can fight back on this one this uh, seems to me like a big dramatic change yeah.